I believe there is a listlessness in today's society. There is a feeling of, what is my purpose? Why am I here? I feel listless. I feel confused. I feel what I should be doing. I don't feel what my goal and direction is. But I know one thing for sure. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. And all that matters is happiness. In fact, I'm going to make my goals, my career choices, all based upon whether those things make me happy. Whether they actually put a roof over my head and food in my stomach, I'm not going to even think about that. If I end up living in a tent, well, so be it. As long as I focus my life on just being happy. Do not seek pleasure for its own sake. Aloha and welcome to the next part of the Dakota series where we look at the modern interpretations of a 500 year old text and the writings of Miyamoto Musashi. In this section, he talks about do not seek pleasure for its own sake. Notice that he doesn't say do not seek pleasure. That's not what he says. What he says is if you make that your primary focus, if that's all you feel and that's all that you do and all you plan for, you basically are living your life only by looking at this one idea that I just want to be happy. Whether I have food, whether I have a career, whether I have even a dollar in my pocket, whether I have a roof over my head, I'll let that, I'll just let that come. I'll just let it find its way into my life. As long as I just seek happiness. And the reason why I'm bringing it up is because I was watching something that I enjoy on YouTube. I enjoy watching a lot of like van lifers. I like to watch other nomads because I live a nomad style myself. I live out of one backpack. So I live a nomad style of life as I travel around the world. So I like watching other nomads. And it's interesting when I listen to them and they talk about their backgrounds and they'll say, well, you know, um, I wanted to go into the arts, I wanted to go into music, um, I wanted to do this and that, and, and, uh, I, and, you know, even to this day, like, I'll go park in the park, and I'll do juggling, and whatever, you know, they do all these things, and that was their passion, and that's great that it was their passion, that's great that they pursued an idea that they found pleasure from, but by making it your primary focus, you found yourself homeless, Primarily, build your life. Build a foundation of responsibility. And enjoy your passions. Enjoy your pleasures. Allow them to be the dessert after you have prepared the meal. But if you make your pursuit only that of happiness, of course you're going to feel listless. Of course you're going to feel like you have no direction because you have no direction. What is a hobby and what is a career? You know, with social media, we talk and we see people that have made a career out of what otherwise would be a hobby. And... So we believe that must just be the direction. Well, the fact is that 1% will. And something I always say is 1% of people will make it rich just painting or singing or something like that, you know. But 99% of people will do very well in life if they get a degree in engineering, <laughs> you know. So you have to kind of decide whether something's going to be your hobby or your career. If you pursue that hobby and you say, I'm going to make this my focus in life because all that matters is happiness, not responsibility, not being accountable for my action, not building a foundation in my life, just being happy. That's it. That addiction to happiness.
Let's talk more about that word addiction. What is an addiction? It is the seeking of pleasure, the seeking of dopamine, of serotonin. That is what an addiction is. Addiction is when you allow your pleasures to just basically rule your life. You see, something which may sound controversial, but I believe there is such thing as recreational use of substances. Okay? I believe it's possible because it doesn't ruin your life. When you use substances to a point that it destroys your life, that's an addiction. When you work to the point that you have absolutely no other life, that's an addiction to work. When you go to the gym so much that you basically are antisocial, you don't even work, and you're broke, and you're just in this crazy eight hours a day gym mode, that's an addiction. When you watch things on the internet that just take all your time, they just take all your time. You don't just get something from it and move on. But instead, it just you dump you dump yourself into it, you bury yourself into it, and you don't you're no longer productive. You are no longer productive in life. That's an addiction. That is the pursuit of pleasure for the sake of pleasure. And you're getting nothing productive out of it. So I think that phrase really links to today's issues with addictions. Earlier, I talked about it's not about not pursuing pleasure. It's just not about making your life the pursuit of pleasure. With that, I will give you my philosophies on the pursuit of pleasure. I make it a reward in my life. I don't make it my focus. I make the pursuit of pleasure a reward for a hard day's work or having worked hard, having built something, invested my money, built a retirement. And then the pursuit of pleasure is a reward for that. It can be at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you reward yourself for a job well done, for a day well lived, a day where you lived a responsible life, and then you reward yourself. To me, that is a responsible pursuit of pleasure. And the pursuit of happiness, the pursuit of pleasure, is a big part of my life now and as I move through retirement. And so I look at it not like that is my focus, but it is my reward. It's a very different way of looking at the pursuit of pleasure. Five hundred years after this statement was made, there is still a pursuit of pleasure for its own sake in the form of dopamine hits every time the like button is hit. Social media has created a whole new atmosphere of pleasure seekers. How many people have liked this image of me wearing this thong? How many people have liked that I did this image of me putting makeup on? And, is this, and if I don't get enough likes, I must not have any self-worth. I must not have any self-worth if I don't have a certain number of likes to this image or this short video that I put on uh, social media. I must not be worthy. I must not be good enough. I must not be pretty enough. I must not be attractive enough to the masses. I'm not good enough because I don't have enough dopamine hits coming into me, giving me pleasure from likes and people watching uh, these short superficial clips of me. I think that shows today's modern day pursuit of pleasure for its own sake. And with that, allow me to summarize with this. There is a difference between fulfillment and pleasure. Fulfillment is no Fulfillment is when you have given a great day to yourself of responsible work and effort 
and you have put it in, you have completed it, you have moved a step closer to your goals, and then you reward yourself with pleasure. That is a fulfillment. That is the work, and that is the pleasure. Not only do you experience the happiness, and you know what the happiness means because you've lived without it. If you try to do nothing but pursue happiness day after day, it burns you out. You'll end up, as I said before, you'll end up with nothing. Okay? And you will never experience that fulfillment. You, you have to have that yin and yang. You, you have to have that balance in life. Reward yourself with pleasure. So that by the end of your day, you feel fulfilled. Thank you for your time. And I hope you enjoyed this discussion on the next precept in Miyamoto Musashi's Dokodo. We will continue on with the series. I hope that you also interact in the comment section. And we will speak again soon. Aloha.